Hey guys, I'm Tara, I'm an ambassador here at Science Space and today we're going to be making catapults. So what you're going to need today is some paddle pop sticks. Parents, you might need to get your kids to eat roughly 10 icy poles for this one to get enough paddle pop sticks. So we're going to have our 10, sorry, about 7 paddle pop sticks and a wooden spoon to launch our catapult today. You'll also need a handful of rubber bands and to make this a little bit more exciting, you can play with colours and use your favourite colours to make your catapult today. And then lastly, you're going to need some pom-poms. And at the very end, you can experiment with some different sizes, but we'll get onto that in just a second. So what we're gonna do very first up, we're going to grab six paddle pop sticks. And what we're gonna do with these is we're going to stack them one on top of the other like this. So we've got four, we'll grab five and one more. Okay, so once we've got our six paddle pop sticks lined up nice and flat like this, we're going to grab one elastic band to pop onto the end. And you're going to need to make sure you tie this up nice and tight, so looping your elastic band around until it can't go any further. So that's one and done. We're going to also flip it around and add an elastic band to the other end. I'm going to be using blue for this one. So same thing, making sure it is nice and tight to hold our paddle pop sticks together. Okay, so we've got the base of our catapult ready to go. What we're going to do now is move on to the exciting bit, the actual launching part. So for this, you're going to need one more paddle pop stick and our wooden spoon. And now for this, we're going to pop our wooden spoon just on top of our paddle, paddle pop stick like this. And then you're going to grab another elastic band and secure them together at the bottom. So similar thing as we were doing before, making sure our elastic band is nice and tightly looped around so that these two are joining together. Okay, now for the tricky bit. So we're going to open up our catapult like this using your hands. You might need to use your muscles a bit for this one. And then you're going to slide your catapult over the base. Now, we've got just a couple of steps left to go. What we're going to do is grab our second last elastic band and we're going to pop it diagonally over our catapult like this. We're going to tie it around a couple of times so it's nice and secure. And then we're going to use one last elastic band. I'm going to match with another pink one and we're going to go on the opposite diagonal. So heading over this side, until it looks like a cross. And now you can try that one very slowly if it's a little confusing to cross over. Okay, so now we have our catapult ready to launch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test it out with a little one first and then we can move on to a slightly bigger one. So for launching our catapult, you're going to pop your catapult stick on nice and steady and hold it towards the base because you'll get more aim that way and letting go. Our, cat our catapult launches our pom-pom just a tiny little bit into the air. But I'm going to try it with a bigger one. And now you can also try it, experiment at home with some other things that are spherical. I've heard peas work very well as well, parents. So for this one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pop it on and I'm going to launch it. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> So there we go, we've created a successful catapult. It's very easy, you can do it at home as well using all of these materials. Thank you for watching everyone. <laughs>